Hey guys, Ewan here, and in this video we're gonna check Kevin Leveroni and uh, his current physique right now. No, not 2020, because 2020 only started 23 days ago, it's mainly 2019, and maybe some photos from 2018. This one that you're watching right now is not current, of course. This was his 2018 comeback, but I don't know if you can call it comeback, because he came back first in 2016, then he took the time off, and then he competed at the Arnold Classic Australia 2018. So this was the last time he was in shape, actually contest ready. Somewhat contest ready, it's arguable. He wasn't exactly in great shape at the Iron Classic Australia. Well, not in great shape is really putting it mildly. He was in horrible shape. His uh, waist was so blown up and he was watery like hell. He was holding so much water. I mean, the, the, the thing is, I think he tried to bring fullness of his legs up and he wasn't able to train them very hard. Uh, he trained them, though he wasn't really training them for 2016 Mr. Olympia. I think he wasn't training them at all because he had a knee, knee problem or a quad tear or something like that. And then uh, in 2018 he was training them, he was squatting really heavy, he squatted like 4 or 5 plates or something like that. And then he came with a little bit bigger legs, but overall bloated, watery, horrible conditioning, just, just a mess. However, 2016 Mr. Olympia was a different story. He was in much better shape. He didn't win the Mr. Olympia though, as some people might have expected, but he didn't embarrass himself this time around. For a 52-year-old and for somebody who hasn't been really training for like 15 years and hasn't been taking the stuff, he looked amazing. He looked absolutely amazing and um, he, yeah, he didn't crack the top 15, he didn't even place but still, he looked great. It was a great comeback story. Everybody followed his prep. People who weren't deep into bodybuilding, non-competitors, followed his prep and got deeper into bodybuilding. And that was a good thing. He was a great promoter in 2016. Mr. Olympia needed him. Needed somebody like him. We need somebody like him today. Something like that, let's be honest. In those side poses, you don't really pay so much attention to his legs as much as you do in the front poses. So here you can see that his quads were totally melted and he wasn't able to train them during this prep because of a uh, injury. But look at the upper body. He was full, he was conditioned. He looked really amazing. He really brought an amazing shape for a 52 year old who hasn't been uh, competing or training really for 15 years, right? The thing is, his legs weren't just small because of the old age or because he wasn't able to squat, but uh, his legs started declining even back then, in the, in the early 2000s, because I think he lost a lot of his drive that he had when he was younger, and I think his legs aren't exactly super genetically gifted, and also, you know, training legs is a separate sport. It takes a lot of intensity, a lot of hard work, and if you don't train them all year round, you can't really get them back in four months of prepping, growing into the show. Muscle memory doesn't really seem to work that well with legs. They do require constant stimulus and a very hard stimulus. I think even when he came back and when he was prepping for those four months before the show, I think he wasn't training his legs very hard, even back then, because I don't think he really had that drive that he had when he was younger, in his early 90s or mid 90s. So I would say that that 2016 Mr. Olympia comeback was a pretty successful story, really. He didn't win, he didn't even place, but he didn't disappoint and he didn't really embarrass himself. He was uh, in really good shape when it comes to conditioning and he had the fullness of the upper body, it just his legs and pretty much his back that wasn't exactly great, but arms, chest, shoulders, what he is known for was on point. This is what he looked like uh, while prepping for the Mr. Olympia 2016 in the gym. And for those of you who just clicked this video to see what he looks like in 2020 or 2019, stay stay here, don't go away if you didn't go away yet, uh, you're gonna see it. I have, a, I have a couple of updates from this year, but we're gonna get to that uh, in a minute. Um, here you can see him again in 2016, so this was uh, about three years ago, you can say. Not exactly four years ago, three and a half years ago. So this is quite of an update. So this is what he looks when he is training hard, when he is focused, when he eats, when he is using the gear. But what happens when he is not on the stuff? This is what happens. 
he, he loses a lot of uh, conditioning and a lot of muscle, but he keeps, you know, his, his known shape. And uh, he doesn't look that bad. I mean, he looks like somebody who trains, of course. Not somebody who is competing at the highest level of bodybuilding, though. But still, he looks great. I'm sure most of you know that uh, Kevin's off-season, back when he was competing, was a true off-season. He was really off of bodybuilding. He wasn't training or using stuff or eating regularly. He was traveling around the world with his band. I'm sure he was doing uh, recreational drugs, drinking alcohol, probably smoking cigarettes or something like that. And uh, after a while, you could see it in his physique. He never really bulked up. Since that pack tear in 1992, he stopped bulking and he started only prepping for a show four months out and that was it for him. And that wasn't because he was lazy. At least he says so. He says that it worked best for him. He needed all the time off to refresh his body and then come stronger. Apparently it worked for him. He was in the top. He was never really a Mr. Olympia, but he was top too many times. I'm not sure which year this was. If you guys know, let me know down below in the comment section. But there was one year in his career, later in his career, in the later years, probably late 90s, early 2000s, when he actually did a bulk in the offseason. And this is what he looked like. He was enormous. He was huge. But he didn't like it, apparently, and he never did it again. You know, it's interesting that he said so many times that he was doing his preps old school without a coach and without supplements. And now he has a supplement line and he's trying to boost it really hard. So he's really trying to promote his supplement brand. So it really seems like he did all those comebacks just to promote himself and his brand so he can earn money. I mean, I can respect that. Sure, everybody got to make a living somehow this way or the other. But, you know, he didn't really stay true to himself. He, he kind of sold out. Let's be real. I don't mind. He needs to make money. That's cool with me. But... He was talking about supplements and telling us that they are worthless, that they don't really work anything, that only real food works, and now he's selling them. We all know basically that supplements are a luxury item that comes after nutrition and training are in check. But uh, it's interesting because Kevin was actually talking against supplements, and now he's selling them, and he's really trying hard to sell them. So that was interesting for me, that's all. It is interesting because after that Mr. Olympia 2016, he said that he is going to try to improve on his physique, especially legs. But right now, he actually mentioned in an, in in an interview recently that he's not even training anymore. This is his physique a couple of months ago, maybe like a year ago. He was still jacked. He was still pretty big. Yeah, you can say so. He was still uh, looking good. And this is him also recently. So he lost a lot since 2018 or 16. He still has the muscle, it's better than it was back before those comebacks, but he didn't keep on training and improving, just like he promised. This was 2018, I believe, prior to 2018 uh, Arnold Classic Australia. This was also maybe a, like two years ago or something like that. And this is him now. This is him now. So he didn't really keep training and, and trying on improving. He is basically retired officially right now. So it all seems like he was doing all those comebacks just to sell his supplements later. I'm cool with that. I just wanted to let you know what, what it seems to be the case. And uh, this is him right now. So if you came here just to see his physique in 2020, this is it. This is what he looks like. So he did lose, he did lose a lot of muscle that he had uh, two years ago or four years ago that he regained after the, after the competitions, after the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold Classic Australia. But he is in a decent shape, you can say so. It's also interesting that I found this on his Instagram account, maybe like a week ago or something. He posted these photos three times. So himself uh, with his bald head and a lot of sweat on it. Now, it's either that his gym doesn't have air conditioning or he's training very hard. It seems like he's doing cardio on all of these uh, photos. So maybe Kevin is actually cooking something. Maybe he's coming back again. I hope so. I sure as hell hope so. He's 56 now. So we cannot really expect him to look like this again. This was one of the guest posings that he did. I'm not sure which one. It's obviously NPC. Uh, you can let me know if you know. But uh, here you can see that his legs progressed a little from 2016 Mr. Olympia. So he did, you know, continue training and improving them for about two years. And then he gave up again. But I guess it's logical. He's 56. He can't keep uh, improving forever. 
until he's like 60 or something. Let's be real. Yeah, I'm a little bit unrealistic, but yeah, he promised that he's going to continue doing it. And uh, I just want to see him again looking like this. And uh, here, this was two or something like that, two years ago. He looked jacked. He looked huge. Legs were also fuller and his upper body was crazy full. So that's about it as far as this uh, video about Kevin Levroni. This is what his physique looks like today. Um, he lost a lot of mass, but he's still in a decent shape. Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Please like the video, guys, if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.